Hello, hello. You wanted me, yes? Well, here I am. Oh, sit there. Oui, oui, of course. <laughs> I did not realize we had begun. Mm. As you know, I am Toulouse Latrec Monfa. My full name is Henri Marie Raymond de Toulouse Latrec Monfa. You, my sweet little thing, can call me Henri. Oh, my beginnings. Uh, well, they were in Albertan, France. Born rich. <laughs> uh, oui, oui. Mon père, Count Alphonse Charles de Toulouse Latrec Monfa, was not nearly as supportive as mother Adèle Zoe's Cartier. She was worried, but truly couldn't deny me anything. Though, being his close relative, they gave me a few issues, but I do still love them. <laughs> country, you see, the country was not very exciting. So, I planned to go to Paris to learn to love. <laughs> it is here among the outcasts and gods and beautiful women of the night that I met Leon Bernat with mother's help. And in that time, I became his prized pupil, studying under him, or at least I saw it that way. Oui. Leon, he was a very, very strict teacher. He didn't want us out in roaming for inspiration. It was somewhat dull, but I stayed until I met Bernard Cormont. He was so free-flowing and loose with his pupils, and I knew I was just like that. Under his eye, I roamed and found this glorious kingdom of the night, Le Moulin Rouge. Oh, you see, très beau. Along with the others, I met Vincent. He seemed very, very sad, but oh, Emily Bernard was splendidly cheerful with us all. I think I might have fallen in love with the personality alone. I lived in Mr. Fernand's care for hmm, five years until I went out on my own. Everyone said my work wasn't very good simply because of my stature and other stupid silly things like that. But it slowly got worse then so I turned to the night as any would. Oh, I, the ladies of Moulin Rouge, willingly accepted me but I needed to green ferry more and more. Speaking of, would you like some? Absinthe. Mm. Oui, oui, oui. Well, here is yours. Hold it here. Yeah. Here's mine. Well, Coco. Mm. Oh. Quite a bit in my cane, oui? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Nice and refreshed now. Oui? Mm. Inspiration. Oh, well, of course, the Moulin Rouge and all of its beautiful dancers. Always so pretty with the shimmering lights. How could I resist? While I was an outcast, they were goddess. And I believe they secretly fell in love, no? <laughs> Mais Monet and Degas did also influence me with their style. So expressive and free, their mind. My style, it all came from them, along with the Japanese and their beautiful wood prints. So simple, but glorious. Mais mon true ex inspiration was Paris herself. All of her, the dirty poor artists under the light of la lune. Hmm? Oh, oui, oui, not a problem, my sweet thing. Uh, oh, the truth? I quite enjoy the oil paint. Mais as an artist with not much money, of course, in such a beautiful city as herself. I often used some wood, cardboard, the little paper thingies. And the canvases I got, oh, they were always so good to me. Ah, we're done now. Merci. Au revoir. And that was toulouse Lautrec. The artist from Perry. Three years later, he would die from alcoholism, from absinthe, and syphilis, believed to be contracted by one of the Moulin Rouge dancers. He died the 9th of September, 1901.
His grave is in St. André du Bois, France. He was 36. Thank you.